Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to do a full review of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus's Edge screen and Edge panels. Edge panels are fully customizable and full of fantastic features. So let's dive in and discover everything. And if you are wondering what case I'm using in this video for my Samsung Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus, I will drop a link down below to the case in the description box below so you can go check it out. Before we do dive in though, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. All right, let's go. Now there's actually two ways to uh, access the settings of the edge panels. Uh, the first one is if you pull this thing in the edge panel screen, you can tap on the settings button here and that takes you straight into the actual edge panels where you can add or remove a panel. Now when I say a panel, I'm talking about this single vertical line. So that's one panel, that's another panel, that's another panel. So if you go to the settings, you can change the panels. Now the other way to access the edge panel settings is if you go to the settings, and then if you go to display, and if you scroll down over to the edge screen and you tap it, and then from here, you can access the edge panels from here, and you also have the edge lighting option, which we are gonna also take a look at. In full detail but let's first take a look at the edge panels so let's go right in now first and foremost uh, I just want to let you know that you can disable the edge panels you can just click that button and now we don't have any more edge screen or edge panels but if you click this it is enabled and the best thing to do is to in fact customize it so let's go right in here and this one is pretty straightforward uh, if you don't want an edge panel you simply uncheck it and it's not there anymore so if I pull it in right now you're going to see the weather panel, but you're not going to see the smart select that I just removed. But if I want to put it back in, I just click that, I go right back in, and the smart select shows up right there. Okay? So the other thing I need you guys to know is the maximum amount of panels you can add. So right now we have six active panels. So let's do seven, eight, nine, and let's try to do ten. And as you can see, you can only have up to nine maximum panels. Uh, on your edge screen so just keep that in mind the other thing I want to show you guys is let me disable the extra ones over here is that you can actually reorder the panels based on how you like it so when you pull this in uh, what do you want to see first and second and third so basically what you want to do is you want to tap this uh, three dots on the on the top right tap it and tap on reorder and then let's say I want the weather uh, panel to be in the first place I can just grab this guy put it right over here and then go right back and now it is in fact uh, in first position. So if I pull the panels, uh, the weather panel is gonna be in the first position. So just keep that in mind as well. Now one more very important thing is the edge handle. So this handle here uh, basically sits on the side of the screen and you pull it in. But what you can do is you can even customize the handle itself. You can change the position and you can also change the size and even the color. So let me show you how to get that done. So let's pull the edge panels in. Uh, go to the setting from this route and then what you want to do is you want to tap again those three dots on the on the top and then go to edge panel handle you tap on the edge panel handle and as you can see I have all these positioning uh, tools so I can tap on uh, left and the panel goes to the left side and I can actually move the panel just like that I can put it at the bottom here and then I can also change the size of the panel so I can actually uh, let me just put it right here so you can see it so I can actually resize the panel, as you can see. Okay, so all up to you, it's all your personal style. And then you can also change the transparency of it. So you cannot change the color, but you can change the transparency. So it's, it's either uh, fully bold, or you can go like this, and it becomes kind of disappearing, and you can make it invisible if you so desire. Now I like to see mine completely, so I don't make any mistakes. So it's right there, and I do like to keep mine large. And then of course, I like it on the right side. Okay, so I just pull it in whenever I want to. Uh, one more thing you can do is you can enable this option here. Uh, this option says move from any screen. So from any screen means no matter where you are, you can actually move the edge panel around. What you can do is if this is enabled, is you can actually tap and hold on the panel and then you can grab it and you can put it on the other side. Or you can tap and hold it and once you see that uh, circular arrow icon, you can actually pull it up or down as you desire, okay? So that's the option uh, over here. Tap, 
edge panel handle, this one right here. So that's the edge panel handle. Now let me talk uh, about one more thing regarding the actual edge panels. When you first buy the phone and you go into the settings, you may not see everything that I'm seeing right here. That's because I went out and I actually downloaded extra edge panels. You can in fact tap on the download button and install even more panels uh, from the store. So you have some paid panels and you have some free panels, but if you wanted to actually download a panel, you simply, uh, let me just pick something that looks nice over here. Uh, there we have a calendar panel, so let me download that. To download, you just tap on that button. It starts to download that. And then when you go back into your panels, uh, you'll see, let me go back, go to the actual uh, edge panel settings. So when you go over here, the new download is going to appear all the way at the end, and I can add that to my uh, actual panels. Now I have a calendar panel uh, at the end uh, over here, this guy right here. All right, so if I want to uh, uninstall a panel, all I do is I tap this icon, I tap on uninstall, and I choose the panel that I don't want. So I can uninstall panels if I don't need them, and that's gone. Uh, if you need that, you would have to go back to the store and re-download that panel. By the way, there's one more way to actually access your panels. You can uh, pull in the edge panels. Uh, one thing you can do is you can scroll through the panels just like that, or you can actually tap this, uh, these three lines over here, and that gives you access to all the panels. Okay, so you can actually from here quickly select the panel that you want instead of actually browsing through uh, sliding through each panel just like that. So that's a fantastic little tactic uh, they added. I really like that one. Okay, those are the edge panels. Now let's talk about the edge lighting. Uh, but before I do, I'm going to show you one thing really quickly. Uh, this panel here is one of my favorite panels. Uh, I recommend that you guys use it as well. So basically this panel replicates the keys that are at the bottom here. So you have the home key right here. You have the recents key right here. You have the back key right here. And you want to have a screen capture key and a lock screen key. So if I tap this, the screen just gets locked, which is fantastic. So in this, with the same token, if I tap on this one, it's going to bring up the recent applications. Okay, so it's nice to have it on the side just in case. So now let's go and talk about the edge lighting, which is a very exciting feature. So let's go to display, go to the uh, edge screen, and then go into the edge lighting. And basically what's going to happen is, uh, you, I recommend that you set this to be always and uh, basically anytime somebody sends you a notification, an app sends you a notification, messages, phone call, calendar notification, whatever, as long as that app is supported, it's going to give you a nice glow around the edges of the screen. Now let me show you one example. Let me send myself a text message and you can see exactly what's going to happen right away. And the uh, good news is you can actually customize that glow itself as far as effects and colors are concerned. So all you do is you tap on the edge lighting style. And then from here, you can actually preview everything on the, on the spot. So right now, uh, the effect that I have is the glow effect. You can also pick the basic effect, which is, as you can see, this thing right here. You can do the multicolor effect. As you can see, that's also beautiful. Uh, you can do the glow effect and you can do the glitter effect. All right. So let me keep it on glow and click apply and then uh, go back in there and you can change the color of the actual effect. You can uh, pick from preset colors here. Okay. You can do blue if you wanted to, or uh, you can pick any color here that you want. Now, as you can see, I just put up green. So that's great. And then uh, you can tap on app color and you can specify individual color for individual apps, which is fantastic. So if you get a uh, notification from the, uh, let's say, uh, the Crunchyroll application, you tap on this guy here, you pick a specific color just for that app. So you know uh, the notification you're getting is from that app. Now let's go back out. You can change the transparency of it. So you can do high transparency, which barely shows anything, or you can do low transparency that shows the entire color. And the best thing here is you can change the width so I can make a narrow one or I can make a wide one, okay? Now let's pick a red color so you can see it better. Again, so if I go over here, as you can see, you can do a narrow, middle, 
or white. Okay, so you, these things are fully customizable in the Samsung Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. So basically, that's everything that you need to know uh, in regards to the edge panels. What I do recommend is uh, for you guys to go in and actually take a look at the individual uh, edge panels to see which ones you like. Even the edge panels themselves have uh, their own customization. For example, if I go to the settings here, and if I pick this one here, uh, the apps edge, I can tap on edit, and this allows me to add app shortcuts to my actual panel. So I can do the camera, the chase, and then of course, as soon as I go out here, uh, you'll see that the, uh, the changes reflect right over here. And you can also go and edit them right from here. You can tap on edit, you can remove apps, you can add other apps, okay? Absolutely fantastic. This is an amazing level of customization on just one of the features of the Samsung Galaxy S9 and the S9 Plus. And that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned some great tips. Again, the link for the case I'm using is in the description box down below. All right, so make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come, and there will be many more. And of course, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Saki Tech Online. Guys, have a fantastic day.